In this video, I'm going to show you how to load filament and 3D print with a Bamboo A1 Mini. So the first step is going to be to reach into the back of the machine. There's going to be an on-off switch. Go ahead and flip that on, and the machine should turn on. So once the machine's turned on, you're going to see the LCD screen light up, and there's going to be some different options on there. On the screen, you're going to see five different buttons here. We've got print files, filament, control, setting, and assistant. To load filament onto the printer, we're going to hit the filament button. That's going to pop up with a screen like this, and then you're just going to hit load. Now you can see, first step here is going to heat the nozzle, so it's going to go from 0 degrees to 250 degrees Celsius. Then next it's going to check filament location, cut filament, pull back current filament, push new filament, and purge old filament. So it's basically going to walk you through all the steps it's going to take to get to loading this filament. While we wait for the printer to heat up, we can go ahead and find our filament in any color we want. Make sure, because we're going to be printing with PLA, that this says PLA in the front. Now when you load your filament, you're going to want to take it out of the hole that it's stuck in here, and you want to make sure that it comes from the bottom when you're loading it. So put it on the spool holder in the back here, and then there's going to be a small hole that we're going to feed that filament through. And then go ahead and just keep feeding it through that clear tube until it gets to the front. And at this point here, you're going to push that filament into the extruder. You're going to see this gear and this window move. And then you're going to see a prompt on the screen. It's going to say retry or done. Just hit retry one more time. That's just going to draw a little bit more filament into the extruder just to make sure that we're seated in there good enough. So now that we're good, we've done that twice, we can go ahead and hit done. And what you're going to do is you're going to see that this is going to extrude some more filament. So we're just going to let it purge out any old filament. If it started with a different color in there, it's going to purge out all of that color. And then we'll be ready for the next step after it's done. So now that we have filament loaded into the printer, we're going to be ready to print. So on the side of the printer, there's going to be a little micro SD card. And you just push that in to get it to pop out. This is what you're going to load your file into from Bamboo Studio. And then you're going to bring your micro SD card into the print lab find the slot on the side, pop your micro SD card in, words facing down, and then we're gonna come back over to the screen here. So on the screen, you're gonna see we're still on the filament page, so we're gonna just hit the backspace to get to this print files. To make it super easy, first button on the top, big button, you're gonna hit print files. Then you can use the arrows if there's multiple pages of files on here, or just go ahead and find your file on here. And you can click on your file, hit confirm if it gives you any errors. And then on this right hand side, you're going to see a couple different options. So you're going to see time lapse, bed leveling, dynamic flow calibration. We're not so worried about the time lapse, you can just turn that off. Um, bed leveling, we're going to want to keep on. Dynamic flow calibration, we're going to want to keep on. So that's going to automatically level the print bed and test the flow of the filament to make sure that it flows, everything flows good. So now after everything looks good, go ahead and hit print. You're gonna see it should say preparing. And then once it gets to temp, so this top number here, this 189, that's gonna be our extruder temp. The one underneath that is gonna be our bed temperature. And then we're gonna have our speed of the printer and our fan speed. So you can go ahead and watch those numbers and you'll see as those um, the temps rise, that's when it's gonna actually start printing. So a couple other options here. If you see your print start to fail, you can go ahead and either pause it or stop it. And then as we see our print get started, I just want you to stay here for a little bit, watch that first layer go down, make sure it sticks to the bed properly. If you see it start peeling up or maybe filaments not coming out, go ahead and stop it, repeat the steps, um, maybe something went wrong. All right, so once your print's all done, you're happy with it, take it, took it off the bed, I want you to unload the filament from the printer. So to do that, we're going to go back to this filament button, and then you're going to see we've got an unload button now that we have filament loaded, so we can unload it. It's going to do the same thing as before. It's going to heat that nozzle up. It's going to check the filament location. Then it's going to actually cut the filament, and then it's going to allow you to pull back that filament. So we're going to let that heat up. Once that extruder's heated up, you're going to just spool this filament backwards, 
and it's gonna come with it. Then when you pull the filament all the way out, don't just let it spring forward. Take it by the end and stick it in one of these holes found along the spool. That's gonna prevent this from getting tangled up and ruining somebody else's print. And once you do that, take it off the spool holder, put it back on the shelf. So that's all the steps for loading filament, unloading filament, and printing with the Bamboo A1 Mini. Now you're ready to go.